I've been involved in a lot of debate lately about a lot of debate with my friends that live here and friends from back home. I've been in lots of debate about this country and about my life here in Ecuador and particularly here in Manta and um uh, and I'm, and I'm really questioning about whether to uh, continue doing what I'm doing or call it quits. And when I talk about calling it quits, I'm talking about th this channel. Um, because I, I have so many mixed emotions about uh, my life here. And I, I, I don't know that I'm ever going to know what to do about it. It's the wind blowing my camera around. Uh, if I say something good about this country and about this city, Monta, and life here, retirement here, and then you come here and it doesn't work out for you, then I've done a tremendous disservice to you. If I say something bad about this country and life here, which I can do, as I can say bad things about every country I can probably ever visit, especially the United States, then I hurt the people that are here depending on people like you and me for their opportunities for their business and their income correctly. So I have so I'm really in this this I'm having this big debate about whether to just shut up and just go about my life here or just continue or continue doing what I'm doing. I can come up with all kinds of content for this channel. But there's a lot that I can't do just because of the way it, life goes here. And I've, we, I've mentioned this many times before to people about how I'm afraid to take my gear and go out and do work. And I, I don't feel necessarily safe. I've, I've run into some some friends here who they want, want to leave, you know, they've been here for a while and they want to leave. They want to leave Monta and they want to go uh, to Coenca or who knows where. A lot of people just go back to the States. And they all have various reasons for not wanting to be here. And as you know, culture is usually pretty much the main, the main reason. I talked to some friends the other day that rent a beautiful condo in a particular area here in Monta and they're leaving because of the 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 Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night noise. The street noise, the party noise that goes on. You've heard me talk about that many times. I'm sure people are sick of hearing about it. For me as much as I'm sick of talking about it. As you know, I don't I don't like to give advice. The whole purpose of this channel has always been just me sharing my experiences here. That's it. I'm not going to tell anybody uh, what to do, how to do it, where to go, how to get your visa, where to get insurance, where to get your medical work done. Because I tell people stuff like that all the time and then they turn around and go the other direction. So, you know, my recommendations are useless. I have 6,700 and something subscribers on this channel, which is really nothing uh, compared to some other YouTubers that do these type of videos. And there's no money in this. I don't make anything to really speak of. I average 
maybe a hundred and fifty dollars a month. I guess if I just go back throughout the year, add up everything I made each month and average it out, it's probably a hundred and fifty dollars a month. Which is okay. I mean it's from I mean I have a good income as it is, don't really need it. But some of the feedback that I get from some people considering the what it does pay it certainly makes it not worth it. <laughs> people that there are people out there that actually treat me as if I owe them something so I'm going to slow down I'm not going to terminate the channel I, kind of, I like doing this stuff but I'm definitely going to slow down and I think what I'm going to focus on is doing just better quality and try to find better topics to cover about living here in this country I, I swear to God, I'm going to do my best to not say anything bad or good. All I can do is just report to you what it's been like for me. And that's, that's all. And I think that's what I've been doing with most of these 300 plus videos that I've produced since I've been here. I just wanted just to give you that feedback and just let you know because... People are writing to me and asking me, you know, how come I'm not producing videos like I was in the beginning? And uh, it, it takes its toll on you. It, it really does weigh heavily on me. I worry often about saying the right thing and not misleading people for either the good or the bad. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to try to work and focus more on uh, creative works and informative okay so I'm gonna try to be do a better job and try to be informative if that doesn't work out then I'll just give it up so that's all I had to say it's um, kind of a cloudy day here I'm waiting for the power to shut off it's gonna shut off well I don't know it's not late as I thought it was but I think four to six today is the cutoff time for here where I live. So anyway, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.